What happened to the paintbrush? Hey, it's Poke. In today's video, I wanna go ahead and take a look at the paintbrush. Now, the reason being is because honestly, this weapon fell off. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat that. This weapon fell off hard. I don't know what happened, but before the season even started, when paintbrush even got announced, a lot of people, including myself admittedly, kinda nagged that the paintbrush would be very easy it's a very strong weapon to use because one, it's like a two to three shot kill weapon. It's very, it's, it's like mildly fast and it has a pretty good amount of range. Like it's basically just like a, like a dynamo version of brushes pretty much. But you know, at this point, you know, we're like a month and a half into the season and I hardly ever see paintbrush anymore. Like, you know, I've gone at least 50 anarchy matches and I've maybe seen paintbrush once or twice. Like it's very uncommon to see one nowadays. Uh, but today I want to go ahead and take a look at a paintbrush just to kind of figure out you know, what happened to the weapon, you know, why isn't it used anymore? Because in my opinion, it's a pretty strong weapon. It's just that this weapon demands a lot out of the player and a lot out of your gear and it just doesn't really reciprocate that back in form of like success or anything like that. It's very, oh, well, it's very weird. Uh, but yeah, if we're gonna play a few matches in, was it, Splat Zones, just to kind of see how this weapon performs and figure out whether or not the weapon really deserved to fall off or not. Maybe it's like secretly X here or something like that. But, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, now earlier I mentioned that this weapon demands a lot of the player without really reciprocating anything back. And to be honest, that's kind of true because this weapon demands that you basically use a bunch of ink saver main, maybe ink saver sub and special charge up alongside, but not limited to, maybe even like quick respawn and like ninja squid and stuff like that. Like basically, this weapon's very demanding when it comes to what it needs in terms of gear like it's not very space efficient i guess like, like gear efficient like you basically can't run whatever you want on this thing you have to run what this weapon needs because if you don't run what the weapon needs then you're gonna struggle like you know that's just like kind of like a fact at this point is that if you don't run what paintbrush desires well you're not really gonna get the best results like that's just kind of sucks um, but I feel, like, I feel like that's one part, you know, of why this weapon kind of fell off was because the weapon just demands that you just invest just so much time into it. But I mean, apart from that, you know, the, the sub itself too, like it's very, very ink hungry, which is another reason why you have to run like an ink saver type, type of ability chunk, you know, either ink saver main or ink saver sub because the sub itself is also very ink hungry and sure what well, you can get uh, you know wave breaker to refill your stuff isn't it like i think it's, i'm pretty sure like 200 points for special isn't it i don't know i'm sure you know post it i can fact check myself on that one but if i'm not mistaken it's i'm pretty sure like 200 at least 190 points for special which for a brush ain't too bad but it's a pain brush which is like the dynamo of brushes which is kind of like it eh. you know it's, it's kind of mid uh, now i did also mention this weapon basically you know takes a lot of the players and just doesn't reciprocate anything back and to be honest yeah, I mean, it does, because a lot of the issues with Painbrush is that if you get caught out of position, such as how I just played, you're basically screwed unless you are able to kill most of them. Because if you're not, well, you're just kind of standing there vulnerable and really, you know, you don't get a lot of ink to run around with, so kind of using sparingly. See, like this, I'm basically just standing still and that guy, I ran out of ink before he even landed, like that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not sure it talks up to me playing terribly, but I just feel like this weapon just demands too much out of the player. It's just that the paintbrush line pin is by far the most demanding weapon in the game because it demands your full investment, you know, your your full, you know, gear. It demands everything from you. And like apart from that, it's not just like a simple pick up and play thing like with Stamper. You basically gotta learn how to play around with it, you know? I know a lot of people kind of criticize the weapon at the beginning of the season, saying the weapon's easy and stuff like that. You know, it's it's hard to get around. But honestly, the easiest way to get around Painbrush is to just learn when someone's sharking and to learn the ripple effects for Ninja Squid. Because a lot of the time, Ninja Squid is gonna be a benefit to Painbrush. You know, that's something that benefits off of heavily. But if you can simply learn how the, what the ripples look like in the ink and how to distinguish them, well, you know, kind of a kind of defeats the purpose of Painbrush, to be honest. But overall, I just feel like this weapon's very, just very demanding, just of the player and just of everything, to be honest. To the point where I feel like just any, like any of the brushes, like Octo Brush or even the base ink brush themselves, what actually be a better pick? Because at least with those weapons, you know, like it's not really too demanding on your gear and too demanding on the player where it's like, okay, you know, at least with pain, uh, not pain brush, uh, with ink brush and, you know, octo brush at the very least, you can run ink saver sub, you know, you can run swim speed and you can run special, special charge up, all that other stuff, like fun, fun gear abilities, right? With this one, man, it's demanding as hell. But for now, I mean, I just want to kind of want to, oh yeah, the Philippine brush player, nice. For now though, I just kind of want to play around and just see how we can do. 
Okay, not bad. I did get caught up position there, but at least I traded with two of them. So I mean, there is that. There's like there's like a small plus side of that, I guess. Oh no, I could have gotten the crab if he just kept turning. <laughs> oh no, come on. God, I, I am just playing terribly today though. That's like another thing is that I am just, I am not even doing that well. I feel like another issue with, with this weapon is just the slow startup too. Cause I know that the uh, the first was it swipe, right? That is pretty slow. That takes up a pretty big wind up just to put out. Like that is rough to be honest. And like just that overall, I feel like, oof. Just if you're caught in position, man, it ain't too good. It ain't too good. Oh my God. Okay. There's another person here. Yep, there we go. And then this guy. Okay, not bad. I technically got a team wipe out there. Honestly, yeah. That thing we can get a wipe out there. That's not too bad. Not a bad play. I'm really just gonna try and get them out of position. Like that's like my main goal to be honest. It's just to get them out of position to the point where I can capitalize off of it. So, like, right there is pretty good. Okay, never mind. No, it's not. At least haunt in effect. Okay, uh, at least they're we- Okay, never mind. It's not even gonna matter, cause, uh, they still got beacons on our side. That fucking sucks. Dude, where- Okay. Jesus Christ, yeah, no, like, once you start shooting with the paintbrush, you can't stop. Like, you actually just can't stop. I don't- I don't get it. Okay. Don't know how I survived with that, but okay. Backed up. Inchat's gonna go down soon. This wiper. Damn it! Oh, I got. Oh, I thought I could reach that. Damn it! Thank you, Bamboo, for covering me. I'll try and cover you. Okay, nice. I can actually walk up on this. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I guess I can't. I guess I'll just shoot through because I knew someone was gonna push through. Damn. Good play though. That's actually a pretty good play. Pretty smart. That actually shot through the. Uh, was it the ink strike there to make sure, you know, whoever was walking through wouldn't get much of a benefit. Okay, not, not okay, they're weak. I'll, I'll at least give them that. Okay, well, ah, uh, there goes that. Yeah, no, they have zone. Damn, that guy's a top 10 player, question mark? You know, I can't really contest the zone for too long, to be honest. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, dude, I thought I had my ink back. Okay, well at least at least got the ball point. I'll, I'll take that, but it's not gonna matter. We're not gonna get a lead here. I don't think we will. I don't know. I and mean, we got a minute left, you know, but considering how they're playing, they're just, they're just better. They're just a better team that I'm playing paint and brush, so I mean that too. Yeah, no, I, I can't do anything. Oh. Um Okay, uh last minute. Disconnect then, I guess. Oh, weird. All right. Is the game gonna end, or am I just gonna be stuck in perpetual uh, respawn deployment? Welcome to um, Purgatory. May I take your order? Hi, I like a Chili's. Thank you. Sorry, we don't serve Chili's. We serve McDonald's, though. We own from McDonald's. I would like a McDonald's, please. You already at McDonald's. See, but I want a McDonald's. Ah, there we go. Oh, sorry, I'm like going insane. Well, that was really weird. What a weird way to end off the last game. But I mean, just overall though, my thoughts on Pain Brush are just the weapon is, I don't know. I feel I feel like all the like criticizing and like just derogatory statements made towards Pain Brush weren't really worth it. Because at the end of the day, the weapon's very easy to contest too. Like it's not very hard. All you gotta do is catch them out of position. That's, it's as simple as that, honestly. Like, it, it's, it's as simple as that. <laughs> you know, cause like paintbrush, you don't get like any movement at all when swinging, especially when spamming it, which is what a majority of paint, uh, brush players do to, as like a go-to. So like, honestly, like, it's not very good. And like, like the frames it takes you to like swing and then get back in the ink, even after a few, it's pretty slow. Like it's, it's very, the weapon's very punishable in my opinion. So I feel like at the end of the day, the reason, you know, why Painbrush kind of fell off from Splatoon is because the weapon is just very demanding. You know, it's too demanding, just doesn't really perform a whole lot. And while it has potential in the hands of great players, 
to do really good things it honestly the biggest benefactor to it is probably going to be quick respawn since you're probably going to die often but even though, i don't even know how, how helpful that's going to be considering you can't get a kill for quick respawn to activate so like honestly i don't even know this weapon's such like a weird little thing but i feel like at the end of the day you know the weapon it, it, it needs a few changes in my opinion one make it not as ink hungry to make curling bomb costs less because 70 percent is rough even when you have ink saver sub on that is rough like dude that sucks but i mean let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about pain rush is the weapon easy and is it really op is this seek really as op as stamper like machine or stamp or splash something like that let me know in the comment section below uh what you guys think on pain brush but for now hope you guys did enjoy feel free to like subscribe comment do all that fun generic youtuber stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Kill.